All right, y'all. So it is National Moth Week this week. So I figure what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of sheets out here and we'll do some light trapping for nocturnal moths. Yeah, nocturnal moths works. Um, so I've got the two sheets over here. They're hanging up. I've got two of these um, on for you, I guess, 15 watt uh, LED black lights hooked up. So let's shine on either of these sheets and that should attract the ones that are attracted to um, the lights at night. And then over here, I have got a uh, recipe I found online, homemade concoction of uh, what's called a sugaring bait for moths and nocturnal insects. So this is a couple of overripe bananas, uh, about a quarter of a cup of molasses, I think it is, um, a little bit of dark rum, uh, some brown sugar, and I was supposed to have beer, but I don't have any beer on hand because I don't really drink. So uh, what I did is instead is I stuck some uh, tablespoon of uh, active dry yeast in there. And it smells pretty good, and as you can see, it it attracts the flies. So if it's attracting flies, it's uh, it's almost certainly going to attract uh, moths tonight. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take this, uh, get away there flies, this uh, meat basting thing brush, and I'm going to brush it onto the the trees like this. So hopefully... I'll get a good patch of it on here and I'll brush this on a few trees and a few fence posts around here I just brush back into my face so that's great um, but yeah I'll get a good bit of it on here and then the other thing I'm gonna do that I found online which I've never tried is soaking a piece of uh, clothesline rope in the solution we'll see if that does anything to attract anything tonight so stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll have something uh, really interesting to show you in a little bit all right looks like we have gotten our first moth over here first moth of the day and of course he's not gonna be still at all uh, he looks like just one of those little brown jobs so probably nothing distinctive about him I'll probably have to take a photo of him oh here he is oh Never mind. He wasn't going to be still. I thought he tricked me. Got a stink bug over here. This is a two lined spittle bug. Bunch of two lined spittle bugs, actually. They're all over the place over here. All right, let's go and check the other sheet. Little beetle here. Bunch of thrips. Bunch of stink bugs and leaf hoppers. All right, let's go check the baits. All right, we got a roach. Always cool. So this isn't the kind of roach that infests your house. This is a uh, what we call wood cockroaches here. Huh? Oh. oh, oh, we do have a. We have a moth up here eating right now. Very camouflaged. Very cool little guy though. I'm gonna get a photo of him. Oh, we got another moth over here on this bait. So this guy's different. It's kind of a pretty, it's kind of got a, I don't know if it's shown up in the video, but there's a little bit of a purple iridescence to him. So yeah, he's pretty, oh, look at this guy. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, man, look at that thing. That is a pretty moth. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to get off here to get a photo of this. This is an awesome moth. All right, going out for another check. It's been about another 30, 40 minutes, something like that. Let's check the, the bait trees first. Bunch of roaches down here. And I swear y'all, I don't have roaches in my house, but <laughs> there are a ton of these guys. Alright. Uh, looks like a whole bunch of roaches. 
All right, got us a cool little stag beetle here. These guys look pretty uh, ferocious, but they're not really that bad. Um, they can give you a pretty good pinch, but they're not terrible. They're not aggressive or anything. This is a female, I believe. I think the males have much longer um, pinchers in the front. But, yeah. Alright, so things are starting to pick up. I just seen a fairly large moth show up a second ago, but it's gone now, I guess. I don't see it anymore. Uh, hopefully it'll come back. So, yeah, let's look a little closer here. So, yeah, we're getting quite a few little moths showing up. A bunch of these little tiny midges and june bugs and ladybugs. Um, tons of these little tiny... Um, I think they're called grass veneer moths or something like that. I guess it doesn't really matter too much what they're called. But, yeah, we're getting quite a few of these little guys. Wish the big guy would show back up. Tons of June beetles, stink bugs. Pretty good turnout, actually. Um, that is a, I think it's a army worm moth. That one's called Lemon Something or Other, I believe. Oh, any of your fly fishermen will recognize a stone fly. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, so the, the sheet's paying off already, and it's only... Oh, look at this. I got, I got moss on me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's only been dark for maybe 20, 30 minutes at this point. So, pretty cool. Out of a beetle running down there. What are you, buddy? One of the longhorn beetles, it looks like. Pretty cool. Alright, y'all. I've not walked up to it yet, but there's already something pretty big over here. And this is something pretty cool. So, this pretty cool little guy here is a Dobson fly. So if you're familiar with what a Helgramite is, uh, these little demonic looking uh, critters you find in the water, this is the adult form. This is actually a female. The males have these really big, long uh, pinchers at the front that are really cool. So uh, just to give you an idea of just how big these guys are, I'm going to put my hand up next to it. So... You can see, it's about the size of my finger there, so it's about two or three inches. And he just flew on to me. Oh, down here he is. Or her. She is. So, yeah. Pretty cool little critter. Alright, let's look around and see what what other cool things we got here. I've got a, a honeybee. <laughs> Didn't expect to see that, but, yeah, there's a honeybee. Uh, June bugs, a bunch of tiny little moths. Um, yeah, that looks like about it over here. And let's check the back side of these, uh, sheets, too, here. Uh, looks like the back side of the sheets is pretty much... Got a similar, similar catch to the front. Oh, cool little assassin bug here. Really cool. I'll have to get a picture of him in a minute. Okay, we're almost... It's like 11.30. It's almost midnight, I guess. So, figure I'd come out and do another check. Oh, all right. Right off the bat, we got something cool. This is a mantid fly. So it kind of looks like it's a halfway, a uh, maybe half a fly, half a praying mantis kind of looking thing. I think I'm finding back here. There he is. So yeah, that's a mantid fly. Super cool little bugs. All right, what else do we got? 
So, tons of moss in here. Ooh, there's a, one of the bird poop mimics, always cool. Dobson flies still hanging out here. All right, so this is gonna be my last check for tonight. It is almost one o'clock in the morning, and my normal bedtime is like 10:30, so I'm pretty damn tired. All right, it looks like we got an extra Dobson fly female out here, so that's kind of cool. Another one of the elephant stag beetles. Blister beetle running around up there. Let's see. Try to go slow. Quite a few moths. A uh, Katie did. All kinds of moths in there. Got a plume moth, very cool. A tulip tree beauty is what those are called. All right. Oh, there you go. Nice big Katie did just showed up. Couple of neat moths there. Got a honeybee. Right. Oh, this is a beautiful moth here. I'll have to put up a a little. I don't know the names. I'll put at the bottom. Maybe depends on how tired I am in the morning. Honestly. Oh, here's a cool one. This is one of the ones that it's kind of supposed to imitate the tip of a broken stick or branch. So pretty cool there. All right, here we are the next morning. Oh, it's a little loud there, I guess. Uh, it looks like everything's gonna be silhouetted, but we got a few new things out here. All right, nothing too exciting though.